Good morning. My Abba are back. Here's the plan. Quite a few guys manually digging out the swimming pool, probably with some assistance from the diggerator. And a lot more guys, once again, working on the north perimeter wall. Not sure if there's any more surprises or any new animals to talk about today. What could possibly go wrong? We'll start the day at our new pond. They have, as you can hear and maybe see, got the pump running. That was not a particularly successful plan when they were trying to remove water when they were building the basically the foundation for the house. Uh, we'll see if this is any more successful. But at the moment, it's just a couple of guys manually digging out. They're from the regular crew. We've got two guys probably well masked in shade who are the pool crew and they're measuring out making sure we've got it in the right place and that's about it for now over here most of the crew is over on the north wall which we will go and have a look at right now and the first thing to note is that we are getting the beginnings of the top tie beam on these sections Ronwell and O'Donnell up there putting that into place on these first completed four sections, well completed in terms of concrete hollow block anyway. We're going to have a look further down to see what the rest of the guys are doing. Over here we have got at least 13 guys plus Manny, not all on camera but uh, some of them a little bit further down, we'll go to them in a minute, working on more concrete, getting those base beams concreted in. So we've come out here to the first intermediate tie beam with the bottom parts of the columns poured. And as we saw yesterday, quite a few more tie beams uh, with the rebar, the tie beams and the columns in place further down. And right up at the other end, approaching the swimming pool, trench is still being dug. Let's go and have a look. The trench crew, which at the moment is Coelito, Jojet, and Juanito, are continuing towards the pond, the original pond. So shortly, they will have to take a slight right turn of the strange shape of our property uh, and go around the back and that is really going to be quite tricky it's a bit of a mess of trees and shrubs and all sorts over there but they're used to that they've been dealing with that in other areas on this build so far already so i'm sure they'll it'll slow them down but they won't have any major problems i would imagine and here on the south side just got a couple of fellas removing the last of the forms from the columns on this wall and I imagine that they will be removing the forms up on that top beam as well which basically means that then this south wall apart from the other area around the corner is done except for that last column on the corner which they won't deal with until they've done a bit more with the wall around the corner but south wall almost done just as a reminder if you've been with us for a while or a new thing if you haven't uh, this area also needs to be walled in this is part of our property so there is one more bit of south wall to go a bit kind of straight ahead of us but this area, I believe, is not going to be addressed probably until they've finished going around the pond. I think this will be the last part. It's an hour after lunch and we've got uh, seven guys with spades in hand. Well, not 
emit right now one that's just wandered off but we've got seven guys digging away we've got Manny still effectively working on backfill over at the far side of the pond no not the pond the swimming pool still looks like a pond plus uh, Oliver is over looks like trying to get the pump working again so hard graft here digging out as much as they can and they're not just digging one great big hole they are also working on things like this these are placed strategically around the pool sure entirely whether these are just some form of column or something else. I assume it's a column. We'll find out as this process moves on. Here on the corner where they turn to go north again, more work going on. Uh, they have put the intermediate tie beam rebar in place. There's a bit more digging going on in that corner and I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, but they look like they might be getting ready to seal this off where yesterday my understanding was they would leave this open to give them access to the other side of the wall for a while longer maybe a while was only just a day and then moving along as of first thing this morning we already had these four sections up to height with concrete hollow block we now have the tie beam rebar in place and the forms at least on this side I will try and go around the other side in a little minute or two right, so that's getting more attention and then they have built up the hollow block beyond that we'll go and have a closer look again as of first thing this morning the next seven sections were only uh, up to the height of the intermediate tie beam those sections are all now fully up to height and Webb, up on the scaffolding, is putting the rebar in place for the top beam. Still quite a way to go, we've only just started doing that on these higher sections now. Uh, but all of those sections, if we can make them out, are up to height. And continuing west, these next three sections are up to the height of where the intermediate beam will be and that beam is partly in place not quite sure why just here there's a gap between the next column and the concrete hollow block i have to find out tomorrow why that is the trench and the columns and the base tie beam fully dug out Quite a few more sections, and as you can probably see, concrete going in. Take your dizzy pills. My about Rico. And they are right up to the corner of the fish pond with trench digging. We'll go and have another look. Hey, I wasn't quite right. I said we were right up to the corner of the fish pond the trench fully dug and we're not we're a little bit further to go but very close and then it, it does take a slight small right turn and then goes uh, back around the back of the pond well looking from the neighbor's side now one of the benefits we have all the way down this side is that the land does slope from right to left as we're looking at, looking at it and so effectively what that gives us is a little bit more height on the wall it doesn't matter how high the wall is on our side it's how high it is on this side and we still have that here not maybe not quite as much but we still have the benefit that whatever height we build on our side from here it's more so our wall will remain relatively high over here. Well, we're approaching the end of the day. These guys have been digging all day long. And you can see a difference. They've made quite a lot of progress. Uh, 
just uh, seven again, five here and two at the other end. And Manny's been using the diggerator to partly build up the soil on this side as well. We've still got a little bit of soil to play with. Yeah, a little bit. So, it's back-breaking work, spades all day, but the water does not seem to be getting particularly worse as they're going down. The pump's not running again now, although it did uh, a little bit earlier on. So, good work, guys. Hard work. And at this end, which will be the shallow end, we are getting more of these holes dug out. Again, I'm still not sure, but I assume will be some form of column. But we've got one over there. And we've got, so far, Oliver's just working on the third one over this side. Well, along here, we've got a lot more concrete, a lot more tie-beam, all concreted in, all the way along here. Hi. Hi, guys. Good job. <laughs> And now they really might be up to where the pool is. The pool, I keep saying it, the pond. We're going to have a look. This is where we got to. Coming on the north side with the trench. Take your dizzy pills again. And we're going around here. And this is the edge of the pond. So around we go. Not sure how difficult this vegetation will be. Next couple of days could be hard work here. Yeah? Well, even more hard work. Well, that's it for the day. There's actually five minutes to go, but clearly nothing dramatic will happen in the last five minutes. I don't think that's famous last words. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's actually quite a bit darker today. Quite a bit cooler now. It was hot earlier on. It sounds as though we might be going to be the recipient of a typhoon at the end of the week. Friday or Saturday seems to be the best guess. Doesn't sound like it's going to be a direct hit here, it's going to be a little further south of us. But that could still mean we get some rain interruptions over the next two, three days. We will see. So today, nothing dramatic to show you. Just a lot more guys digging out a very big hole and a lot more guys making a really good progress with a perimeter wall. So, maybe tomorrow will be more of the same, maybe it won't. We will have to come back and find out. See you then.